It's not the Kruger. After a few days of business and visiting family in KwaZulu-Natal, it was time to head home to Mpumalanga province. We felt this was the perfect opportunity to break the journey with a two-night stay at Makuzi Game Reserve in KZN. Tracy, you want to tell the subscribers where we are? Not in the Kruger Park. <laughs> yeah, this is a, not the Kruger uh, video. We're at McCruzzi uh, Game Reserve, and the reason we say it's not the Kruger Park is because there are quite a lot of differences between this and the Kruger Park. Some of them good, some of them different. Some of them, yeah, the Kruger does better, but anyway, we're having fun here. So, uh, we're on our way to one of the bird hides, or one of the uh, hides rather, to go and see what's going to happen. And uh, you know, we've set up camp, and uh, we've seen the footage of that ready. And so, yeah, join us as we go and see, explore more of our wonderful country. Good morning from a very windy Makuzu game reserve. It was quite uh, wet last night, um, but yeah, it was very peaceful, not a sound. We, uh, at one point I heard a few hyena and some owls, and that was about it. Yep. We're the only people in the camp. It's great. It's yeah, definitely um, not the Kruger. <laughs> poured with rain last night, but yeah, the sun is out. We headed out on a game drive, armed with the photocopied map of the park that we were able to secure. Mercuzi is a big five game park, and during our stay we were not able to see any of the big five, but we were here to enjoy some of the much needed rest and recreation. 
It gave us the opportunity to enjoy some of the smaller things that we usually take for granted, such as birds, bees and bugs. And we were able to add quite a few new species to our list of identified birds. Our game drive took the greater part of the day and you should really take time to visit the heights and the Bombo observation platform. Okay, so our stay at Makuzi has come to an end. It's been a great one. But now, before we can go, we've got to get petrol and they're having load shedding. A word that we haven't even thought about for three days. I've been totally oblivious to it and now when we get to the reception they tell us we can't go uh, we can't get petrol just yet because of load shedding so we're back at malabalo hide one of our favorite spots here in the uh, makuzi it's close to mishope it's actually almost halfway between mishope and matuma and so we're just going to kill time here while we do that but it's also now time for us to unwind and play five questions with Tracy again. All right. I'm ready. Are you ready now? Are you amped? So first question, Tracy. What do you think of Makuzu? So, the only other camp that we've camped at is in the Kruger Park. So I'm comparing it to the Kruger. So. Makusi is lovely, it's very peaceful, um, lush and green. I don't actually think you can compare it to a, to um, camping in the Kruger. It's not the Kruger, but it's still very special. All right, so it's not the Kruger, but what would you say is better here? Okay, there's one thing that the crew can't compare with and that is the bird hides they are excellent um well maintained they are large every bird hide has uh, toilet facilities it's just very neat and clean and yeah um very very good job so i think the other thing that's quite nice about here is you in the Kruger, you get spoiled for sightings. You see a lion sighting and you can say, oh, this lion sighting was better than that lion sighting. Here, we haven't seen lions, but we saw a lot of other things. We saw buck, we saw quite a lot of Inyala. Uh, we saw one bit of, uh, one herd of kudu. Giraffe. Yeah, and, and so you go back to that. This is almost like a birder's paradise. You know, you. The, I think we've probably added 10 to 15 new species onto our bird list. Uh, not that our bird list is big yet, but still, that was that. Those are the kind of things that in the Kruger we don't do, because we're always chasing the big five. Yeah, you sh shouldn't um, have that mindset of seeing the um, what the predators and the. We the, saw the uh, we saw the big five poop. Yeah, they're here, but we haven't seen them. We definitely saw a uh, poop of elephant and rhino and hyena. I can't say we saw any of lion or leopard. Um, we didn't see any buffalo. So it no. is it is definitely different in that sense. So what's better in the Kruger than at Makuzi? So I think it would just be... Um the general info that you need. Um, going into the Kruger, you'll get a map, you'll get some info on the animals as you will see. Um, here, you're on your own. Um, <laughs> you need to figure it out. We know it's a big five reserve, but... We didn't we, see any of the big five. We haven't, yes, we've seen game. Um, we don't really know how large the reserve is. But the animals have been quite scarce. But yeah, I mean, if you do see a sighting, you're able to sit with that sighting for as long as you want because there's no one else around and you can really enjoy it. That was a, another real plus uh, over the Kruger is there's just not that many visitors. Yeah, very, we had Mishopi all to ourselves again, and I think we even stayed in the same campsite as Rickus and Stacy. 
Yeah, it's quite strange having a whole campsite to yourself. Um, the ablutions were okay, not great, and the campsite itself was a little bit run down. Yeah, I think because it's it's not used as often as they would like. The it's not maintained as often as it should be, I guess. Yeah, but, so I found it strange that around the ablution block, the grass had been cut, but at the campsites, none of the grass were cut. It's almost like the campers are on their own. To be hypercritical, it cost 340 rand to camp for the night, which is around the same price as what you pay for the Kruger. In the Kruger, your ablutions are great, your campsites are great. The only thing is you have to share those ablutions with everybody else. When I say everybody else, you know, there's lots of people camping, so the crowds are really in the Kruger, where it wasn't here. The conservation fees were totally confusing to us. Kruger, we know it's 110 rand per person per night, and therefore it would have been, for two nights day, 440 rand. Working out what it was to get here, we were told it was 7 rand per person per night, so 12 rand for, for entries, 70 rand per car, so much for this. <laughs> and we actually worked it out to be about 297 rand for the uh, two nights. And when we got to the gate, it was 250 rand. So we're not complaining that it was cheaper than what we had expected. But on the other hand, the lady who took the money at the gate really just seemed to be interested in taking the money at the gate. We asked her about uh, the camping. She told us we would have to camp in Matuma and that we would actually have to check in at reception and then clarify with them about where we wanted to camp because she said uh, Mashopi was just, there was no electricity and it was in a bad condition. We get to Matuma and the lady says to us, no, we have to go back to Mashopi because there is no camping at Matuma. Now, I would have expected that somebody who's at the gate would know this. It seems like the conservation fee goes to the community and the community are just ensuring that their uh, fees are being paid. We asked for a map at reception. The lady gave us one and asked us why we didn't get one at the main gate. Now, that's a question that the main gate can probably only answer. So it seems like they were just there to make sure that those people coming in the gate pay their money. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's communication between the main gates and reception. As a final question, Tracy, would you come back? Yes, of course, we will come back. I will come back. I think um, our stay was too short. I always feel we need a few more days just to see a bit more. But I think if we, have, if we had a few more days, we would probably get to see possibly, you know, some big five sightings. Also, there's been a lot of rain here, so the animals haven't had to really come out to find water. So it could be why we haven't seen as much as we had hoped for. But yeah, it's a great, I think it's a great reserve. Um, I have no complaints, really. Um, camping is camping. Um, so the road in was a bit, um, I think it's the most... Um, livestock we've seen <laughs> on the roads so you had to be quite um, mindful of, you must be quite mindful using um, the road in there are plenty of um, cattle and goats and they literally they sleeping in the road also the road was very bad in certain places i don't know if it's just because of the recent rains yeah but there were times when i would have actually doubted whether i would make it with a two-wheel drive so yeah, if you are coming, try and come with a four-wheel drive or at least a high-clearance vehicle. Possibly, yeah, maybe it might actually be better uh, in a few weeks or whatever. Yeah, possibly. Oh, and the other thing is make sure you have fresh bottled water with you, gas, all the basics because the shop is not stocked. Anything like a Kruger shop. So if you don't have it, it's it's going to be a mission to go all the way back to find a shop. Um, so just be prepared. For our own stupidity, <laughs> we did not bring a gas cylinder with us for our gas, for our Alva cooker. And uh, we thought, oh, well, we'd pick one up while we were in Durban and we never went shopping while we were in Durban. On our way up, we never found one at any of the shops we stopped at in Pangeni. And so we were hoping there would be one at the shop here. And the shop here, it's not like the Kruger shops either. No. 
So in the Kruger shop, you would find a little bit of everything, including maybe light, uh, plugs and extension cords. They sell ice cream, cold drinks, ice. The ice is 25 Rand for a one kg bag, which back home we were paying probably 13 Rand for. The other thing we looked at was wood, which was like 30 Rand a bundle. And we then regretted not buying next to the side of the road. On the way back, we'll try and find out how much they cost. But literally it was 30 Rand for six pieces of wood. Yeah, the, the bit of goods they do have is... Quite expensive. Yeah. And they sell a lot of curios and uh, souvenirs. How did you find the picnic spots? <laughs> so once again, um, they just need some maintenance. Um, the grass is a bit long. Picnic spots, there, there's no toilet facilities at these picnic sites. They only seem to have them at the bird hides. Um, and there's probably two tables max. Well, you can get out your car, have a cup of coffee, have some lunch, etc. But it's not like you can hire a squirtle and yeah, they're do different. those sorts of things. Different to the Kruger picnic spots again. Um, the picnic spots in the Kruger normally have your ablutions and you can hire things and all that kind of stuff. They're the major stopovers. Whereas here, I would say you want to stop over at your hides. They're your big attraction. Yeah.